My prediction is that we will. Elon Musk made a prediction last week about electricity that is shocking. Shocking electricity. Are you ready? Let's go. My prediction is that we will go from an extreme silicon shortage today to probably a voltage transformer shortage in about a year and then a, an electricity shortage a year in two years. But what was he talking about? First of all, silicon shortage. There is a shortage right now of silicon, of chips for AI training supercomputers. NVIDIA cannot produce enough chips. NVIDIA makes the leading chips that are used for training super, supercomputers for AI training. Tesla is working on their own chipset and their own hardware solution called Project Dojo that will likely ramp fully by the, or not fully, but will continue to ramp really, really impactful by the end of next year and by the following year should be incredibly huge. NVIDIA is ramping up their production of silicon and there are other companies like AMD and maybe others that are also coming up with solutions for AI training that can lead to these large volume of supercomputer clusters and they use a lot of electricity. When you combine that with the fact that all these EVs that Tesla's producing and other companies are shifting to EVs, that's more demand on electricity. So what we have at first is we have a shortage of, so right now we have a shortage of silicon, we have a shortage of chips. That should be resolved mostly by next year. By the end of next year, there's gonna be enough chips at least to make a big dent in the demand for AI training. Probably still more demand growing and Tesla's planning to produce even more dojos in the future but that demand issue is gonna be mostly resolved. Then we have this problem of transformers, voltage transformers in the distribution network. You have electricity produced, there's a distribution network where electricity flows from the places that generate it to the places that consume the electricity. And in the middle of that, you have voltage transformers. And what we see is the voltage transformer market has been growing at about 8% per year. Now, when you have this surge in demand for electricity for electric vehicles, and you have a surge in demand for electricity for these AI training supercomputers, this number is probably an underestimate. And the industry as a whole is probably not producing enough voltage transformers. And that's what I think Elon is talking about. Now, what we see with Tesla is, Tesla is typically ahead of the game. If Tesla has noticed there's a problem, they are already working on the solution to the problem for Tesla. But that doesn't mean the problem is solved for everybody, and that can be a problem for the economy as a whole. So the first problem you have is a shortage of transformers, which means you're generating enough electricity, but it, you're having trouble getting that electricity from the grid into the places where you have the highest demand. And the, the AI training supercomputer clusters are going to have to locate in places where they know they've got enough electricity, and that's going to be a challenge as you build these out. Once you get past the voltage transformer problem, and I'm guessing that Tesla is probably gonna make their own voltage transformers or they're working with partners to scale up production of voltage transformers, then you have the problem of, do you have enough electricity? And there's something else that Elon said that you wanna to listen to that shows where this is going, not just in the next couple of years, but deep down the road. The metric that will be most important in a few years is useful compute per unit of energy. In fact, if, even if you scale, like obviously you scale all the way to like the Kardashev level, the useful compute you know, per joule is still the thing that matters. You can't increase the output of the sun. So then it's just, well, how much useful stuff can you get done for the, you know, for as much energy in the sun? So I don't want to say Elon is thinking big, but he's thinking Kardashev scale is when you're using all the energy that the earth receives from the sun, and then the next level he's talking about is when you're using all the energy that the sun is producing. So Elon is envisioning this AI demand for electricity is going to be so large and AI is going to be so productive, so, so revolutionary in, in enhancing the ability of our economy to produce things, not to mention that SpaceX is revolutionizing our ability to get launch into space, launch mass into space, that we may start using solar panels in space to power AI training supercomputers in space. That's what I heard, Kardashev scale using the power of the sun. Now that's, that's not looking three years down the road, that's looking 50 years down the road or longer. But you know, Elon is looking at this as a long-term issue. So where is the electricity going to be generated? One of the things we saw in the Q2 earnings report was a reference to that solar deployments are down because interest rates are high. As long as interest rates are high, that reduces the return on investment of a solar install because it costs more to install the solar because you've got to spend more money on interest rates. If we head to a low interest rate environment in the future, let's say a couple of years from now interest rates come down, then we're going to see massive deployment of solar. But my gut hunch here 
is that Tesla is ahead of this game like they're ahead of most games. And Tesla already has plans to solve the voltage transformer problem, the shortage of voltage transformers for Tesla's demand, both for EVs and superchargers and for AI training supercomputers like Dojo. And Tesla is already thinking ahead to how are we going to generate enough electricity so that we can produce enough electricity to support our AI training supercomputers and all our electric vehicles. So I'm expecting Tesla to start rolling out solar on a much larger scale, maybe for itself. Maybe Tesla's going to build its own solar farms to serve Tesla's own factories, Tesla's own supercomputers, and Tesla's own supercharger network. That's a guess. I don't know where they're going, but the fact that Elon's aware of this problem means the Tesla team is aware of this problem, and it usually means they're working on this problem. And then the question is, will the rest of the economy, not just the U.S. economy, but the global economy, be able to adapt to this radical change? If you look at it, maybe AI training supercomputers and computers like that are only consuming 1% of Earth's electricity today. But if you scale that up 20x, which is where we're heading just at the end of next year, all of a sudden you go from 1% of, of electricity demand to maybe 20% of electricity demand. And if it continues going up, and Tesla's chart for this was a steeply upward slope, it may go to 100 times demand. And so it may be a really massive demand of electricity generation Plus, you have all these electric vehicles. Tesla's ramping their production of electric vehicles. There's other ideas about going to heat pumps and other things that are consume more electricity. Semis are going electric. All this creates a further demand on electricity. We need electricity produced somewhere. So I'm expecting to see solar ramp massively. And we'll also see production of things and deployment of things will make more sense. So, for example, the deployment of where you put your AI training supercomputers you're going to want to put them somewhere that has reliable, low-cost energy. When you are working on your factories, you want to put your factories in places. If your factories use a lot of electricity, you've got to put your factories in places that have reliable, low-cost electricity. This is what I think is coming in the future. But really looking out to the future the way Elon does, talking about Kardashev scale, uh, he sees AI getting to the point where we are actually putting solar panels around the sun to try to extract all the electricity, all the energy from the sun, we can produce a much, as much electricity as possible. And in the short term and medium term, what this points to is what Elon talked about is... The, the metric that will be most important in a few years is useful compute per unit of energy. The useful compute per watt. When you have a computer that is generating computation, how much electricity does it use to generate that computation? If you can make a computer that can be more efficient in producing the, the computation that you want, at lower le energy levels, that computer is going to win the game when there's a shortage of energy. That's the computer that people are going to want. They're not necessarily going to want the computer with the fanciest whatever. They're going to want the computer that they can run at high volume at low cost of electricity. Because if there's an electricity shortage, it doesn't matter how good your computer is. If it uses too much electricity, you can't run it. So that's where I think we're going. Please check out the Tesla Man t-shirt at elonbits.com. Please support me on the Locals platform on Patreon as a YouTube channel member or as a Twitter subscriber. Please check out my other videos, like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.